give a great welcome to Marty Wilson. My first ever time in Paris, best thing I saw, not the Eiffel Tower, not the Arc de Triomphe, not the Champs Elysee. <laughs> best thing I saw, in my hotel room, on the telly. On the telly comes Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, in French. <laughs> How good is that? L'Empire contre attaque. <laughs> it was just awesome. It was like, there's all your favourite characters, but they're all talking the language of love. <laughs> and it just put this whole new spin on everything they were saying. You know, like C-3PO and R2-D2 having a fight like they do. But because they're talking the language of romance, it's like they're having this lover's tiff. But like C-3PO is just there going, How did they do? Qu'est-ce que tu as cherché? Idiot, elle est à moi. And little Yoda was there, and because he was talking French, it was, it was like he was this sleazy little munchkin, firmly on the ball, just hobbling around, just going, snob you I can. Mm, yes. <laughs> and when I was young again, I'd always be whinging about, oh God, I've just got everything set up now, it's all changed again, it's not fair. Why does life never work out just as I plan it? Not fair. Of course it's not fair. Life isn't fair. The world isn't fair. <laughs> like if the universe was a fair place, the only time they'd ever let Britney Spears anywhere near a microphone would be to say, Price check, check out three, lamb, men's one kilo. Price check, check out three. <laughs> what? what I say, in times like these, you are far better off throwing your energy into new things. Change is good, different is good. You know, if there's a new role going at work, put your hand up. If there's a great house in a different suburb, have a look at it at least. You know, if your wife asks you to dress up like Elmer Fudd, give it a go. <laughs> That's the worst thing. And no, I'm not in character now. <laughs> Be very quiet. <laughs> I'm hunting furry mammals. <laughs> Change is like the Terminator. You know, you can run away from it for a while, but it will keep coming. It will track you down. It does not feel pity or remorse, and it will not stop till it has you pinned to the floor, whining like the scared little baby that you are. <laughs> Actually, that's not very fair on change. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Laughter is fantastic at reducing stress hormones, releasing endorphins, lowering blood pressure, like, and also it's fantastic at diffusing potentially aggressive situations, which are really common in times of change. You know, for example, road rage. Apparently road rage is madly on the up. And um, this American mate of mine is madly into the road rage. Like, he's Southern American, like real down home. You're like, hey, don't go changing. Yeah, have a nice day. Like, if anything, a bit sickly sweet. <laughs> but you put two tons of machinery around him, <laughs> he pops a handful of the angry pills. <laughs> he's mad for it. Uh, goes absolutely nuts in the car. And his girlfriend, Southgate, Southgate, Southgate. <laughs> Sansky is one of those girls, everyone knows at least one woman like this, who's like right into like, you know, the crystals, the aromatherapy, dolphins, you know, tarot, astrology. <laughs> no nice way to say it, hairy, hairy girl. Huh? <laughs> anyway, Sansky tries like these new age anger techniques on this mate of mine to try and centre him and calm him down. <laughs> like, he'll be going nuts in the car and she'll be like, honey, honey. Jeremy, picture yourself at home with a chamomile tea. <laughs> Darling, your anger only hurts you. <laughs> Which drives him absolutely mad. <laughs> but he has discovered this one technique and you guys can try it at home. I'm telling you about it because it's funny. If you're, going, if you're in a, about to go into road rage at home, you can go nuts, abuse whoever you want, but you have to do it using old Broadway show tunes. <laughs> and it works a treat, because there's only so aggro you can get when you're in the car by yourself. Saying, there's no dickhead like you, dickhead like no, dickhead I know. <laughs> and he demonstrated it for me, like we were driving along, we were driving along, and this bloke in a Range Rover cut us up. You know those like typical inner city 
rich, I guess, who buys the Range Rover so they can successfully navigate those treacherous, leafy avenues of Mossman. You know? <laughs> I'm guessing there's a few here today. <laughs> Oh, bother it. Love it. Love it. The simply murderous pothole in Lower Pumpernickel Mews. <laughs> anyway, I thought this mate of mine was going to go nuts, but he's just calmly got out of the car, looked across at me, and just said, West Side Story. He's gone up the black house, <laughs> raised the sweat, middle of Mossman, middle of the day like this, just gone. You make me sick in your four-wheel drive, dressed like a dick in your four-wheel drive, country road shirt in your four-wheel drive, but don't get no dirt on your four-wheel drive. <laughs> I thought to myself, I can do that. <laughs> I was practicing at home, biding my time. About two weeks later, driving my little boring man's Camry that I've got over here, and uh, this guy in a Saab just jams the brakes on in front of me, almost run up his bum. My mate thinks I'm going to go crazy. But I've been rehearsing. <laughs> <laughs> I just calmly get out of the car, look across at him, and just say, Sound of music. <laughs> and I start walking up the guy in the Saab, just going, Bastards in Bentleys and Cretans in Calais. <laughs> Ducking and weaving and barging in my way, driving like dickheads and cutting in front, just like old Saab drivers. You are a huge Tongan who jumped at Jesus. I just smack you. Oh, 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 oh. And just a quick tip: New Furling works really well on fear, not so good on physical pain. <laughs> I know it seems almost un-Australian to talk about your fear at all. Uh, you know, let alone reframe your fear and call it new feeling. <laughs> but it works. Trust me, it works. I did it for 10 years on the stand-up circuit in the UK, and I did it the day I got married. The, I used it the day I became a father for the first time. My little boy used it, and it worked so well for him that uh, he explained it to his five-year-old friends, and it worked for them as well. Don't. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Get the new feeling and do it gladly. Then get some mentors and do it wisely. And then chuck some funny in on top of it and do it with a big belly laugh. Like, life is a short, precious gift. Don't let that Neanderthal part of your brain make you spend it all tucked up safe and sound in your cave. To use a more Australian metaphor, don't live between the flags. You know, sure, the beach, swim between the flags, but don't live between the flags. If life has a flavour, it's not ham and pineapple. If life has a motto, it's not, same again, thanks. If life has a soundtrack, it's not a non-stop block of classic rock. <laughs> In the 200th year since Darwin's birth, let's do him proud and chase down some evolution. I've been Marty Wilson. Come be a hairy mammal with me. Thanks very much for having me.